Hey, what's going on? Well, I'd rather, for our first date, I'd rather we just go to a park or just go somewhere pretty nice that we can walk around and actually get to know each other. Oh, you'd rather go to dinner? Um, where are you trying to go? I mean, how's Applebee's? Oh, you don't do Applebee's. Oh, you want to go to an expensive steak restaurant or seafood restaurant? Well, how about Red Lobster? Oh, you don't like chain restaurants. Well, for the first day, I'd rather get to know you um, because relationships are an investment. Dating is an investment. Hey, Ross, girl, my money makes money. Hey, ladies, this is for ladies only. Ladies only. Why is it when a man trying to take you out? Some of you, not all of you, try to dictate where you want to go. Now, some of you are on that bull crap where you're just trying to get a meal. Now, for you serious women out there who is really looking for a man or waiting for a man to look for you and for him to court you, that does not mean that he needs to take you to a restaurant. He doesn't need to take you to what we call an activity, right? Oh, take me to an activity because the dinner and movie thing is so boring. Take me to an activity. What about a park? What about a nice long walk where we get to know each other, our pet peeves? That's because relationships, rather dating, is an investment. Because that guy is going to spend money on you. He's going to take you to dinner. Dinner from most places, even Applebee's, okay, is about $40. Well, some of you are saying, hey, that's fairly cheap. Do you know his goals? Because you know your goals, right? And this is not to bash you because some women actually pay for the first date. Kudos to you because in this new day and age, women are saying, oh, I'm, I'm old-fashioned. Okay, well, you're old-fashioned. Do you live with your mom? Did you go to college? Do you have a career? Because old fashioned, women stayed at the house. Their job was to take care of the family, take care of the house, and cook meals. So stop saying you're old fashioned. Understand where you are in life. Understand your financial goals. Now, here's the big kicker. Understand his financial goals. Because if he simply say, hey, oh, what are we going to do for our first date, our second date, whatever it may be? Hey, I just figure we go out to a park, um, we enjoy the sun, we go by the water, we walk, we talk, we ride bikes, or whatever it may be. Every date, especially the first and second date, does not have to cost money. And here's another thing. Most men will present a date or situation where it costs him money. Here's a change of arrangement. You say, hey, you know, let's just go to the park. Let's just talk. He may be like, wow. He said, okay, cool. Now, some of you, again, is about that bull, and you're trying to get a free meal. You're trying to have fun. But you are actively seeking someone to be in your life. Is it about the money? Is it about the activity? Is it about the food? Or is it about him? Here's another one. I'm just going to throw this in there. It has nothing to do about financials. When you're on a date, ladies, put your phone down. Now, if you have kids, every once in a while, glancing at your phone to see if everything's okay is perfectly fine. But being on your phone the whole time and texting and Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat, that's so disrespectful. I'm off of it. This is the thing, though. I don't want you to have a carnal mind or one set mind or one track mind about how dates supposed to be. Because this is the thing. We're all searching for love if you're single. We're all searching for love. But why do we have to wine and dine someone in order to look for it? Now, since we're all so old fashioned back in the day, they used to go in parks. They used to take long walks on the boulevard, long walks 
on the boardwalk, okay? If you don't have none of those things, I'm pretty sure there's a park or there's some sort of playground. Maybe not a playground. Let me, let's stick with a park, okay? And I'm not trying to ooh, produce. I'm not trying to advocate for those things. But what I'm saying is this. You know you have financial goals. Understand that he has financial goals. Now, the choice that you make is on you. If he offers, and sometimes men may insist, like, no, it's okay, I'll take you to dinner, then by all means. But understand where you are in your financial walk and understand where he may be in his financial walk. One more thing that I have to tell you. If he is not financially conscious, if he does not have financial goals, if he doesn't understand financials, you have a choice to make. The first choice is, are you willing to teach him? Are you willing to deal with him? Are you willing to empower him? That's the first choice. And if you are, because he's a great guy, he's nice, he's handsome, he's whatever you want him to be, then so be it. Do it. Secondly, are you in the right capacity? Are you in the right mind frame? Do you have the knowledge? Do you have the patience to do so? Because if you don't, and he doesn't have it, it's not going to work. It's not going to work at all. Because we all know that relationships are based on three tiers. Three, communication, love and sex, and financials. If you don't agree, for the most part, not 100%, on the way you communicate and what you want out of that relationship. Secondly, love and sex. That means explicitly talk about love, explicitly talk about sex. It's not going to work because maybe he wants to do something you don't want to do and you never want to do. Then financial goals, he wants to ball till he falls or you want to ball till you fall and he doesn't want to do that, but you want to go out every once, in a, every once a week and he wants to go out every once a month. It's not going to work. Because your financial goals are not on the same path. So that is the decision you have to make. And fellas, check out this next video. This is Ross World. Women, think about it. I'm out.